Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Lex at Lex Reads. Um, you're actually interacting in this moment with editing Alex because I, for the life of me, cannot find the intro to this video. I know I found it, but I have no idea where it is. So hello. Um, this is this is a really exciting reading vlog. I've been biding my time for this reading vlog for like a minute. Uh, like a month and a half, two months now. In this reading vlog, oh, I didn't get the books out. I'm sorry, I'll just pop up a picture of them both. I'm going to be reading Lock Every Door and Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me talking. You get it. This is going to be reviewing a little bit and vlogging the experience of reading both of these. I love Riley Sager, so let's do it. We're just going to do it. Um, I'm talking kind of quiet because it's 1am, and as I always say in my vlogs, when I talk at 1am, I don't want to wake anyone in my family up. <laughs> um, I'm about 60 pages into Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, um, which I'm sure you noticed because of the title of the vlog. Uh, um, I really like it so far. Which... I anticipated because um, The Last Time I Lied is my favorite thriller of all time and Final Girls is one of my favorite thrillers of all time and so I'm, I've recently become obsessed with Riley Sager so of course I like this, why? I shouldn't be surprised. Um, I've been told a few times by various people and also booktubers that the Bartholomew is kind of like its own character in this story and that's one of my favorite things. I also love the like is it or is it not haunted vibe in these kind of thrillers so I'm really excited to get more into that. Um, something you may not know, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, I don't think I have. I haven't actually filmed my intro yet because I haven't filmed today and I just picked it up after I finished The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Um, but I'm also reading this technically for a secret TBR. <laughs> so there will be a, a couple snippets of this probably in July in a video. Cheers. Hi, I hope I'm in the frame well. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm like 135 pages into Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and of course, I'm obsessed with it because I love Riley Sager. Um, I was surprised that this isn't, this isn't really a spoiler, um, because it says in the description, like in the sleeve description, synopsis thing, wow, I'm, words are hard today, I guess, um, but it says on the sleeve that Ingrid disappears after they become friends, but I figured they would be friends for longer than they actually were. Also, it's barely a reading vlog if I don't have a towel on my head at least one time, so I hope you love that. I'm gonna read now. <laughs> Maybe I should mention this because it might be relevant to some of you, but I actually know what the big twist in this book is because I accidentally spoiled myself on the interwebs because spoilers don't bother me very much, um, so I don't always do a good job of avoiding them. So I know what the big, like, final twist of this is, but it's actually really fun because while I'm reading it, I can, like, see all of the little hints and, like, all the foreshadowing. And I'm sure there's usually more than one twist, you know, in a, in a thriller. And I just know the, like, big overarching twist. You know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm obviously not going to say it, because I don't want to spoil you, because I got spoiled and it's kind of a bummer, you know? Alright then. <laughs>
it is nightfall, and I've finished lock every door a few hours ago. Um, but I'm gonna wait and talk about it when it's light outside, so that we can have a, a better, a more aesthetically pleasing chat about that. Um, I also, I don't know if you can see it, it's chilling over here, started Home Before Dark, but I'm only 20 pages in and it's almost midnight and I haven't written today, um, and I need to write at least 500 words, so I gotta write. So I don't think I'm gonna read anymore tonight, I'm gonna give that a breather, pick up Home Before Dark tomorrow. Hello, it's Alex from the future. I just realized that I don't think I ever told you what these books are about, so I'm gonna just do that very, very quickly. Lock Every Door is about this young woman in New York City who has just been laid off. She's in a really bad place, and she gets this opportunity to be a house, an apartment sitter, basically, at the most, like, exclusive, sought-after apartment complex in New York City. Um, and she moves in and meets a girl, and then the girl goes missing right after they've met, and, um, she, our protagonist is fairly certain that something very sketchy is going up, and then she starts having some weird experiences in the, in the apartment complex. And then, um, Home Before Dark, we follow Maggie, who is a, I think she's about 30, but she's a young woman who, when she was a very little girl, her family moved into this very large, very nice house. They only lived there for 20 days before fleeing and never going back. Her dad then proceeded to write this best-selling non-fiction novel about their experience living in a haunted house. Um, Maggie, the protagonist, is fairly damn certain that everything in the book is a lie. And then after her dad passes, um, she goes back to Bainbury Hall to try and uncover the truth. Let's do it. Be late. I'm emotionally exhausted. We're gonna read one chapter, or for 15 minutes, whichever happens first. 15 minute sprint. Go. Um, hello. It's a new day. I was at work most of the day. Oh, my food is overcooking. Um, it's like six o'clock. I was gonna make yummy dinner, but I kind of feel like garbage and I think I might be getting a cold. So, we're not doing that. We're doing something easy that I'm gonna read, even though I have a physics test later. I gotta read some because I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I gotta read. I gotta do it. If anyone ever asks whether or not I will make the same mistake over and over again, the answer is yes. Happy late night. Time to read the spooky book time. Listen, I hate it. <laughs> okay, I just have to say, you know how I always talk about how thrillers and horrors don't scare me? You want to know what does actually really get me? Any kind of, like, haunted house story just gets me. And I don't know why. I don't know what my, my thing about being terrified about my house being haunted is. But, like, <laughs> shit gets me, man. And shit's happening, and I'm like, no. <laughs> if I had read Lock Every Door, or The Last Time I Lied, or Final Girls in the middle of the night, it would have been fine. But no, I had to pick the only ones likely to scare me, because I'm stupid. Okay. I'm not having- I mean, I'm having a good time, but I'm straight up not having a good time right now. Does that make sense? Probably not. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> That's basically all I can say without spoiling anything is just oh. Snake with it. It's a no from me, team. It's a no from me. I'm not sure if I respect her, Maggie, or think she's a fucking idiot. But at this point in the book where I'm at right now, I'm on like two page page like almost two fifty, I think. Um I'd be so gone. I'd be like, you know, so what if I own a sketchy house? I'm just gonna leave it there. It's gonna do its thing. Maybe I'd demolish it. I don't know. But I'd be like, I'm never going back in that stupid 
stupid house ever again. And I know it's only gonna get worse because I'm only like 60% into the book or something, so. Big yike. Listen, I prefer murder to ghosts, so if murder is the answer, murder is the answer, you know? Just saying. Wanna do it? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I would like to say for the record that I don't not believe in ghosts. Also, that I'm glad they had proper Ouija board etiquette. And also, I wonder if it's scarier if there's a ghost. I wonder if it's scarier to see it or not to see it. Like just to experience the things that are happening, like. Like bells ringing, or doors opening, or a record player that you put away being on the desk playing. Versus like seeing an actual person. I don't know which one I think is scarier. I don't know. See, as soon as it's a real person, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Love that. I think I have my answer. I think it would be more scary if I couldn't see them. I've been pondering. I might say a possible spoiler right now, so I'm gonna put it on the screen, mute it, um, it's gonna be really quick, okay? I swear to fucking god, if it's the stupid motherfucking berries in this pie, I'm gonna- <laughs> Listen. It's a no, it's a no for me. Okay, yeah, so that's that on that. <laughs> Mostly stopped. <laughs> I can tell you that. See, for some reason, this book was a little bit easier for me to guess than the other two. I want to say two because I knew how lock every door ended, so I knew. So I was like expecting all the twists, you know. Um. So good. I love Riley Sanger so much. Home Before Dark. Check. <laughs> I'll talk about it more tomorrow. And I also never did actually talk about, sit down and talk about Lock Every Door. So I'm also gonna do that tomorrow. Sorry, team. Hey. Oh, sorry. I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. Give me a second. Hello. Um. So, I did the thing that I feel like I always do when I'm doing these videos where I'm like, I'll talk about it tomorrow, and then I never actually wrap up the thing I was talking about. So, I've now finished both Lock Every Door and Home Before Dark, so we're going to chat about it <laughs> now, both of them. And we're going to start with Lock Every Door because I read it first. Um, I adored it. I'm actually a little bit bummed because I think think that if I hadn't been spoiled, it might be my favorite Riley Sager, which means that it might be my favorite thriller, but I didn't get to have those, like, holy shit moments <laughs> that I would have had had I not known how the book ended. Um, I really, really liked it. The main character? I don't even remember anymore been like a week. <laughs> um, I really like the main character. I really like the story. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. My favorite thing about Riley Sager books is how in all of them that he's written so far, we have that like dual timeline thing going on. Sorry, I'm like holding the camera. So if it's moving, it's because I'm just like holding it. Um, <laughs> So, like, in Final Girls, we had the night of the slasher killing, and then current day, in The Last Time I Lied, we had 
um, her original first time at camp and then current day. And then in Lock Every Door, what I loved about it in Lock Every Door is it was backwards. Usually we get to see back into the past in all of the like intermittent timeline chapters. But in this one, we start five days in the future. So we see... Okay, so I'm going... I, I said I was going to have a spoiler-free vlog. I'll let you know before if I say anything spoilery. I'll let you know and I'll also pop it up on the screen so that you know how long that lasts. But I'm going to do my best to avoid any spoilers. So if you've read Lock Every Door, you'll know that... You'll know. If you haven't, I won't spoil it. Um, so we get to see five days in the future in the aftermath of the craziness that happens. And another thing that I liked a lot about Lock Every Door is that this one is like a really short period of time. The entire book takes place in a few days, which I do typically love that, especially in like whodunits and murder mysteries and stuff. I love it when the whole book is like some hours of time, which it kind of had that vibe. I liked the spooky, but the spooky vibes of the Bartholomew, that's what it's called. Um, I wish Riley had leaned more into the spooky, is it paranormal, is it ghosts, or is it nothing? Because, like, that, it was, is one of my favorite things in thrillers, is when you're like, is it ghosts? Or is it a person? Is it haunted or is it a person, like people? Like the idea of like when you're not really sure if what you're witnessing is otherworldly or of this world, which I'm, when I get to talking about Home Before Dark, we'll talk about that. But I wish we'd leaned more into that and lock every door. And we didn't, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted more because everyone always talked about how like they liked that part of the book so I was expecting it to be more than it was um I gave it five stars I haven't written out my review yet but I am going to do I'm really excited for this video I've been planning this video for a while I'm gonna do a review video where I review all four of Riley Sager's books um so that'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks but I gave it five out of five stars absolutely adored it highly recommend moving on to home before dark home before dark is without a doubt the scariest riley sager um in my personal opinion i really 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 liked it i adored maggie i loved that we heavily leaned into the is it haunted or is it something else is it of another world or is it of our own we leaned heavily into that in this, which makes sense because it's basically a haunted house book. I got spooked, as you saw, I kept having to take like TikTok breaks so I would calm down at 2 a.m. when I was reading the book, but it was a blast to read. It's not my favorite of the Riley Sagers, but considering all four of them are four of my favorite thrillers I've ever read, <laughs> um, it's still, it's still very, very highly rated in my book. Uh, five out of five stars. God, they're all so close, too. For me, it's like, the last time I lied, lock every door, home before dark, final girls, and they're all, like, right there. They're so close, because I adore them all so much. I love Riley Sager's writing. I love the ambiance. This one is really fun. Because you know how I was talking about the, like, flashback, um, thing that is in all of Riley Sager's book, or flash, flash forward in the, um, event of Lock Every Door. This one was fun, because if you don't know what this book is about, I guess I never actually said what these books are about. Maybe I'll go back in time and insert this, but, um, Home Before Dark is about Maggie, who is a young woman, I think she's about 30, um, and when she was a little, little girl, her and her family, um, moved into this large house called Bainberry Hall, 
they lived there for 20 days, left, never went back, and her dad wrote this best-selling non-fiction book about their time there about, um, called House of Horrors, about their experience in this haunted house. And Maggie has grown up her whole life. She doesn't remember any of the events of the book. So she's like, I don't believe any of it's true. And she's fairly damn certain that everything in the book is just straight up a lie. Um, after her dad dies, she ends up going back to Bainbury Hall to try and uncover the truth. The flashback chapters are literally House of Horrors. So it isn't like Maggie's perspective 25 years older it's technically her dad's perspective and it has this like unreliable narrator angle where you're not sure if anything he's written is true or if it's fake which was really fun I love me an unreliable narrator I've said it before and I'll say it again I love a good unreliable narrator um I had so much fun reading it I loved the house of horrors chapters really got me they were like very spooky to me I got spooked a little bit but it was fun. It was so much fun to read. Um, yeah, so we had the chapters of House of Horrors interspersed with the current day Maggie trying to uncover the past and figure out what the hell is going on. And it was so much fun. Five out of five stars. Highly, 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 highly recommend. Yeah, I really, really highly recommend. Super good. So good, y'all. Oh. Check it out. If you haven't read any Riley Sagers, I recommend all of them. Um, the Last Time I Lied is my favorite. But they're all just really stellar. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this two-book vlog. Um, I'm trying to vlog more and vlog better because I do actually, when I commit to vlogging, I have a lot of fun. And there's some of my favorite videos that I've ever filmed are vlogs, so I just need to get better at that. Um... I hope you enjoyed. Go down in the comments and let me know what you thought about either of these books if you've read them, and I will talk to you very soon. Goodbye, friends.